All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Okay, so let's talk about friends, family members, and, um, you know, co-workers and people you hang around. Basically, people you hang around. Because, remember, pe the people you hang around, they represent you, who you are, right? So if you're hanging around drug dealers and druggies, and stuff, that, uh, that really represents who you are, right? So you got to be careful of who you're hanging with because that's a representation of you, okay? And one of the things that happens is, you know, you are you might be living righteously. So let's say you're this person right here this person and you're this person you're this person the people that are in white and you're living a righteous holy life right but then you have you know maybe this person that person this person this person they might not be okay and then these people right here might be even worse right but you not but you don't know it because they don't show it right but yet your life right your life is is um not going the way you want it to go you're 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 not succeeding you're not accelerating you're you're being blocked by by things blessings aren't coming to you quickly and um you're you're starting to wonder what is it because you're living a righteous life and you should be blessed and and and, and um so you probably start to think maybe it's these people that are, you know, interfering in your blessings, right? Because they, these people are nice at work, but you don't know what they're doing outside of work. And you don't know if they have jealousy against you or doing witchcraft against you or hexes and vexes and all types of spells and stuff. And that's what's going on in, in, in today's society, Right, you go to work and you don't know who's actually against you. You don't know who's into witchcraft. You don't know who's into voodoo and all these other things at your job, and you you you're wondering why your life can't go anywhere. Like you're stuck, right? And these people and some of those people are accelerating, and you're not. And you're like, well, I'm living righteous. I'm living holy. I, I repent all the time. What's what's going on? I pray about acceleration. I pray about healing and stuff. And um, I pray about advancing, but I'm not, it's not happening for me. That's because you're hanging, the people you hang around are a representation of you. So these people might be good to go and, 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 uh, and they might be faking it at work, but their overall life is not representing of holiness. And so because of that, it's opening doors. These people are opening doors right for these three so these three are living righteous and these these other ones are not and it's opening the doors uh, of sin right it's an opening because you hang around them at work or every single day right people you hang around is very key you, they might be family members they might be friends and or they might be co-workers you hang around and that is an opening door Okay, one of the reasons why we uh, people like me and others say don't hang around Hollywood people. Why is that? Because you're opening doors and they can use you as a sacrifice. They don't have to use their family members and friends. They can use you because you hang around them. This is why this is why um, it's very scary to be somebody's friend or best friend in Hollywood because they you know that. At any moment, if they want to do a blood sacrifice, you're it, right? And so, because then, you know, they're not going to pick their family members over you. So they, you know, a lot of some people do pick their family members because they want to go even higher. But you know, Kanye West did, his, you know, picked his mom, right? And he, he made he made it clear that his mom died, you know, uh, in the hospital, right? When she was doing the procedure, just like. Um, what was that woman's name? Um, the comedian jo Jonah was it Joan Rivers that passed away after claiming, uh, not claiming, but saying Obama's uh, Michelle Obama was a man and things like that, and everybody or trans or whatever, and everybody in Hollywood knows it, and it's no big deal. And then boom, she she goes into her normal dentist um, procedure, and she's she's dead, right? And so and they, they they're claiming that you know acid was thrown down her throat or something like that so who knows man it it's uh it's dangerous 
it's dangerous to be an associate uh, in, in with those people and with people in Hollywood. So you better be careful, y'all. Um, and um, but it's the same thing, not just in real world. It's dangerous to be associated with people who are not of God, right? It's one thing to to have you know you everybody has family members that are in sin and have fa and that are not of God. We understand that, and that's your family member, right? So you you say hi to them. You might meet them and uh, during holiday times or whatever the case may be, or throughout the year. But and uh, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about people that you hang with daily, people that you're hang you're hanging with a majority of your time on the planet Earth. Okay, your coworkers, your family members that are close to you that you go see all the time, uh, your friends, your best friends, your friends that you see all the time. Right? If they're not living holy, they're representing you. Right. That's and so if I meet you or if if one of us on Eyes of Media meet you, members meet you, and we see your friends and we see that they're not holy and they're not godly, then that's a representation of you, right? And so it's one thing if they're your family members and we know that you go see them maybe once a month, once every three months or something like that, just to say hi, because they're family, their blood, and you're praying for them. That's different. But we're talking about coworkers, family members, and friends that you see all the time, because that's where the open doors are at, right? And so we need to, so you got to watch out. You got to be careful. You need to pray. If your life is stagnant, if, if things aren't going right in your life and, and, and all the time you, you, you can't get any breakthrough, it's because somebody in your circle, it's doing something to you or somebody in your circle is not living right. And that's an open door for, for the enemy to keep you um, in stagnation, keep you from accelerating, keep you um, down. Uh, and keep you from not prog uh, receiving the favor and blessings of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So sometimes, um, you know, even though you're living righteously, but the people around you might not be, and that's an opening door for Satan and his kingdom to use against you. Okay, so I, so that's why it's important to pray about the people that are around you all the time. May pray and ask the Father who does who does he need to remove out of your life. And uh, who do you need to cut off, right? And, um, you know, another good thing is to pray before you go into work. You should be praying when you wake up anyways. But, um, you know, you pray and you cover yourself in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit before you go and meet anybody or you go into work. You know, that's a, that that's another way to cover yourself so that you're and, and you and you close all portals, Um with the bloody issue as well. Okay. So that's a very important, um, because a lot, a lot of people aren't succeeding and it's because of the people that they hang with. You're not succeeding because of the people you hang with, you know, if there's seven junkies and you're standing there, guess who's the eight junkie going to eventually become right? Why? Because demons are being passed down. It's not like, it's not that you want to be a junkie. It's that the demons of the, of the junkie spirit in them and the vagabond spirit in them is going to transfer into you and then you're going to become them. That's how it works. It's like somebody who gambles all the time and you have a gambling spirit in you and, and you and this person's a gambling spirit in her. And then all of a sudden, this person starts to gamble now. Now this person wants to gamble. Now this person wants to get, and it goes all the way around and guess who's last? You, right? And you're going to, and everybody now is a big gambler just like this person because this person infiltrated and now everybody has a gambling spirit in them and you don't have that yet. And you know, if you don't walk out of this circle, you're going to have the gambling spirit next and you're going to lose everything. You might lose your house. You might lose your car because you're now going to have that gambling spirit, right? And a lot of times it hits the people that are holy a lot harder than it does the people that are unholy. 
right? The people that are living in sin and they're unholy, it really doesn't hit them that hard because they're already in darkness. But the people that are holy, it when you get these types of like gambling spirits and all that, it hits you a lot harder. <laughs> like you literally will lose like your house and your car. These people would, would probably just lose like a couple of paychecks and stuff. But you, you know, the holy ones, you'll lose your house, you'll lose your car, <laughs> you'll lose your career. Like it will hit you like 10 times harder because you were in holiness, right? And so, and so, so you got to be careful. We have to be careful who we hang around and, and who's our friends and family members and coworkers, because if they're not living righteously and they're not repenting of sins, then they're opening doors and those doors are being opened. Those open doors are going to come after the people that are righteous, these three, right? So I'm only calling. I'm only saying that these three are righteous because they're wearing white. That's it, okay? We're just using them as an example, okay? But if these three are living righteous and these other ones are not, then guess what? Those oh, those are open doors to attack these three, okay? And those open doors could be financial poverty. It could be vagabond spirits. It could be sickness. It could be whatever it is, right? And so that's why you see it sometimes when you're at uh, work or, or you're at church and, 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 and the, the righteous people are always being destroyed. They're like, oh, the good die young. And, and uh, it's because the pe there's so much evil around them, right? And they get hit harder. The righteous people will get hit harder than the people that are already unrighteous, right? That's why the righteous people get cancer and all these things. And people are like, well, I thought they were holy and things. How could God do that? It's not God doing it. It's that the people around them are unrighteous. And so when that opening door, when the sins of the opening door hits them, it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit them with a ton of bricks. The, 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 uh, the open doors are not going to come in and say, hi, you know, I'm here. <laughs> you know, you have an open door. No, they're going to, it's going to come in with like a, 6,000 demons, <laughs> right, to destroy them because they're righteous. That's why the church, the, 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 the you know, the, the righteous woman at church has cancer or, or has some type of disease or go, or, or is bankrupt or has to, and you, everybody's trying to figure out why. It's because she's hanging around people and many of the people she's hanging around either in the church or outside are not righteous and it's opening doors for the enemy to knock them out, right? So we got to be careful of who we hang around. Because if you're righteous and if you're living life righteously and you're repenting of your sins, you cannot be hanging around those who are not. Okay? It, it's not that you can't talk to them. It's not that you can't pray to them. It's not like you can't speak to them. But you cannot be hanging around them all the time. Right? And you must cover yourself in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Rock of this Holy Spirit and, and, and seal all openings. Right, because those oh, because when they do it, when there is an opening, right, because of them, because they're not living right, it's going to come in at w with full force. Okay, and this is why we see so many uh, people that call themselves either Christians or or followers of Yeshua or uh, you know the tribe of Judah or whatever you call yourself, right, in the body of Christ. This is why you go through so much more than everybody else, right? So it's like, why do I? So I, I guarantee you, every one of us have taught, have asked the Father, why do we go through so much more than anybody else, <laughs> right? And and the Father usually doesn't tell you, or he will say, uh, you know, for much is given, you know, much is ex expected, or something like that, right? Uh, you know, you have to go through the the bad because I'm going to be putting you on a on a platform that is for the for kings of kings, right? And and uh, you're gonna be speaking to millions of people in the future, so you have to go through the the terrible times now. And uh, you have to learn and build yourself up through me and have faith in me, right? But there's other times where you ask him, like, um, you know, why am I going through this when I'm living righteously, but everybody else that's not living righteously isn't going through this. 
And and uh, and there's your answer right there. So he, that's why sometimes he doesn't even have to talk to you. You answer your own questions for yourself, right? Because I remember I remember doing it as well. I remember saying, "Man, I'm going through so much. Why am I going through so much?" And I'm repenting and I'm living. I'm trying to live right. I'm repenting, but all my friends and family members that are just sinning and sinning and sinning are not going through what I'm going through. There's your answer. <laughs> you just answered your question for yourself. There. Why are you around sinners? Why are you around people that you know are sinning? Because that's opening doors to destroy you. And Satan is going to come after you harder than they come out than he does them because they're already in sin with no repentance. But you are trying to live righteously with repentance. So he's got to come after you a hundred times worse than he does them. You know, and God's going to, and even when you were getting attacked like me, God would still bless you here and there. You would see like surges of blessings. It's, it's like a stock that is being held down, like like silver right now. Silver is being held down, but then you'll see like surges of, of, of movement upwards and then it'll come right back down. That's how God does us, right? When we're, when we're in this pattern of, of people with sin around us, he would, he will, he will, he will allow them, you know, the, 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 the attacks that happen for us. But then he would give us these surges, you know, of blessings and favor for for a short season, and then it will come right back down, and then we'll be back in this scenario again because we're still hanging around these people, right? And maybe he does that to try to say, okay, we got to get we got now we can get away from these people, right? And now we can get away from these people, and, and uh, you know, because we just got nice little blessings. But then when we don't do that, and when we get back to these people, that it suppresses again. Right. And so I know a lot of you guys have been through that. There's no way you have not been through that. If you're walking righteously right now, you have definitely been through that. You're probably going through it right now. There's probably people in your life right now, you know, are evil or are sinning like crazy. And that's your answer today. You have just received your answer. You know what to do. Don't go into 2020 knowing that people in your lives are living in sin and without repentance and take that into 2020. You need to cut them off now, okay? You need to pray about it and you need to cut them off and watch that and, and close that opening door and watch your life change instantly. Because once those closed doors are sealed by the blood of Yeshua, all your then you can receive all your blessings. You can receive your favor. You can receive your acceleration. You can receive your joy, your peace. Depression can go. All these things are, are there because you're of opening doors because of people that you hang with or family members you hang with or co-workers you hang with. Okay? And you're getting hit twice as hard or 10 times harder because you're righteous. And the devil needs to pull you into the darkness. So you got to get hit a lot harder. That's why Christians and people of, of the, of the uh, you know, of God and people who follow Christ get hit the hardest. <laughs> you know, don't you hear pastors and people saying, man, why are Christians so in depression and, and, and Christians are just looking like looking real bad lately? It's because people of the of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are going to get it a hundred times worse than people that are already in sin. Okay? So you got to understand that. You're going to get it ten times or a hundred times harder than everybody else when you have opening doors. So that's why we have to repent every day, but we also have to know where are these openings coming from, and it's most likely coming from the people you hang around that are not living righteously. That's the opening door. And so today, you have found your answer, and guess what? When we pray, and when you pray, and you remove these people from your lives, and you cover yourself your life will change instantly because now the, the favor and the, and the blessings and stuff can now be able, are now able to receive you in a legal matter in the spiritual realm because legally the, it, the favor and blessings can't come upon you be, because Satan just has to say, well, they're still hanging out with these people. They still hanging out with Beyonce and them, <laughs> right? And legally you can't receive your, your blessings. You can't receive your favor because you're still hanging out with those people. 
and those opening doors have not been sealed. So right now we're going to close those opening doors on all of our lives. So let's get let's let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. And and when we do it, and when you and you stop hanging around those people, right? I don't care what you, know, you don't lie to them, but you know, ask the father how you do it. Okay, ask the father, pray about it, and ask the father how you do it. Some of you, you know, what I mean, so don't don't lie to them. Like I can't hang with you no more because you evil. Like don't don't do that, okay? Because then they're gonna be probably they they probably going go into their witchcraft pot and start do putting your name in the way. <laughs> And then, then you got a whole new problem, right? So the, the, ask the Father, pray about it, and ask the Father how you deal with that, okay? So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this uh, teaching and this um, learning and this uh, wisdom of understanding that people we hang around, it, it could be family members, friends, co-workers, that, that are living in sin, create open doors for, for us to be attacked, the people of God. And we're not just attacked, but we are attacked mightily. And this is why we can't receive breakthroughs and healing and, and favor and acceleration and success in life. It's because people we hang around are, 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 um, are living in sin, which creates that open doors, and we have not sealed those opening doors. So right now, we repent for that. We repent for, for being around people like that. We repent for family members and friends that we hang around that we, that you have told us or maybe even shown us that they they are living in sin and you need to come off away from them and Yeshua's mighty name and hang with them uh, you know uh, in, a, in a in a staggered way or or maybe only three times a year and not 20 times a year in Yeshua's mighty name we thank you father uh, we repent for our sins. We repent for all the sins that we have done and committed and done, all the evil sins, all the sins of hatred, all the secret sins, hidden sins, unknown sins, known sins, sins in the spiritual realm. We repent for every sin going back to Adam and Eve in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you, Lord, for the teaching today in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you for eyes open media. We thank you for, for uh, you know, just praying, covering our channels on YouTube and, and Patreon with the blood of Yeshua and the power of rock of this Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we close every portal and every opening of sin right now that has been caused by family members, friends, co-workers, business partners, or whoever we hang around that is living in sin, that has created these opening doors. We close them down and we, and we ask and we stretch our hands out and we command our blessings, our favor, our success, our acceleration, our breakthroughs, our wealth, our healing to come to us now. We, we stretch our hands out and and ask to and command those things to come find us now because we have closed those doors by with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach Hakodesh Holy Spirit and we shall uh, stay away from those people who are living in sin that create open doors in Yeshua's mighty name. We rebuke of all witchcraft hexes and vexes that people are doing as well. We send that thing back to the sender in Yeshua's mighty name and we cover ourselves with the the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the understanding. Thank you for the favor. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the breakthroughs. Thank you for the healing in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you, Father. We thank you and we repent for, for not knowing. We repent for not understanding. We repent for not listening to you. We repent for not heeding the warnings of, from these people in Yeshua's mighty name. We are not going into 2020 the same. We are going into 20. 20, a new, a renewed mind, reset, uh, restored, revived, renewed in Yeshua's mighty name. And we are blessed and favored people in Yeshua's name. And we thank you, Father. We thank you for, for healing us. We thank you for saving us. We thank you for uh, for guiding us and protecting us and teaching us your right ways in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you that uh, all openings are sealed now with the blood of Yeshua, and we repent for those openings now in Yeshua's mighty name. May, we, may you bring forth all the blessings that you that were kept uh, from coming to us because of these opening doors, and may our lives change instantly now in Yeshua's mighty name. We pray. Shalom. All right, guys and girls. So we cover the prayer in the blood of Yeshua and the power of Ruach, Ruach Kadesh, Holy Spirit, and we thank you for uh, being here on Eyes Open Media. Um, 
YouTube, uh, you know, uh, you know, went after some of the videos and I couldn't upload, uh, you know, after I put the first two videos up, I think yesterday, uh, YouTube went out. Some people, I guess some employers on YouTube went after some of the old videos and I had to appeal that stuff and, and, and pray against it. And cause I couldn't upload, they had community strikes on me, uh, and they had literally attacked all the, all my channels yesterday and I had to appeal that stuff and, and fight YouTube. YouTube and uh, everything's back to normal now and today. So continue to pray for my channels on YouTube because they're being they're they're on they're, they're under heavy attacks, right? Um, because yeah, I, I, you know I you know look the if, if you're a blessing to people, the enemy's not gonna like it. And so you know we we've been a blessing uh, to so many people. We've changed so many people's minds. We've brought blessings to so many people and teaching so many people the righteous ways of living and just speaking that positivity and commanding things that are yours to come to you in Yeshua's name. So we just uh, continue to pray for us and we just bless you now and uh, with favor and uh, in Yeshua's name. May your life change forever now as you know um, that people around you are, are causing you to be stagnant and sluggish um, because of opening doors, because the way they're living, not because the way you're living, because you're living in righteousness, but they're living not, they're not living in righteousness and you're around them a lot. And so that's opening doors to allow your life to not grow, not excel, not be prosperous. And uh, we close those doors now, we close those openings now, and we separate you right now from those people. And people of righteousness will be around you in Yeshua's mighty name, I pray. And, I, and also all these people in this picture, I command them in Yeshua's mighty name to, to be of God, to be of righteousness. And anybody, Father, that is unholy, may they become holy now. In Yeshua's mighty name, going into 2020, we pray. Shalom. All right, guys, eyes open and take care. Bye.